Well, for decades, only crackpots and crazy people believed in UFOs. That's what I thought anyway. And then in recent years, it turns out that governments have been taking them seriously all along, very seriously. Nick Pope is a journalist who has spent years researching UFOs for the British government. He says that UFOs aren't just real. They also frequently come close to crashing into commercial airliners, among other things. Nick Pope joins us tonight. Nick, thank you very much for coming on. Um, so it's really not a question of do governments believe USOs, UFOs are real? Yes, they do. The United States government does. The British government does. The question is, do they have any idea what they are, where they're from? No, we don't. We keep an open mind on it. We don't rule anything uh, off, you know, take nothing off the table with this. Our point really is that whatever these things turn out to be, there is a serious defense, national security, and air safety issue here. Yes. Well, so that's and, kind of the nub we, of it, and that is the, that, that's where my interest comes from. So why aren't governments encouraging the population to, as they say about terrorism, if you see something, say something, report sightings to the government so we can make sense of this potential threat? Well, they should be, and that's what we certainly did at the Ministry of Defense for many years. We took it very seriously. Our own pilots were seeing these things. We were having radar operators track them. And we knew, again, through intelligence and through open source material, we knew that the Russians and the Chinese and others were working on this too. The problem was that just the pop culture baggage from the term UFO, flying saucer, little green men, people right. don't take it seriously. But they should. So we've ruled out, I think, that these are aircraft, experimental aircraft, or technically advanced aircraft from other countries. Is that true? Well, no, we keep an open mind, as I say, and, and some of these things probably are uh, Russian or Chinese, whoever it is, but th that's the point. We must find out if there's something in our airspace we need to know. Uh, for years, governments said they didn't do this. They did. I did it for the British government. I can only talk about this now because my old employers are gradually declassifying and releasing information about my old job. We now know, of course, the Pentagon had a program too. I think it will take congressional hearings to get to the bottom of all this, not just in, in uh, the United States, but all around the world. And I, I'd like to see those congressional hearings. Uh, commercial pilots have very often reported sighting objects in the air that seem to defy the laws of physics. To what extent are these objects a threat to commercial aviation, potentially? Well, certainly the British Ministry of Defense and our Civil Aviation Authority, which is the UK equivalent of your FAA, have dozens of cases in our files about near misses, some of which where pilots have had to take evasive action. And again, it comes back to the point, I don't care in one sense what these things are, but when there is this flight safety concern, when we have these near misses, we right. sure as heck should be doing more to find out. That's for sure. Nick Pope, really one of the most credible experts on this subject. I hope you will come back on our show. I appreciate it. Good to see you. Thank That's you, it for us tonight and for the week. Tune in every night at 8, the show that's the sworn enemy of lying, pomposity, smugness, and groupthink. See you Monday.